Today, we have an RX 7600 XT. NVIDIA's big GPU upgrade is already here. AMD is releasing a full new lineup of CPUs this week. And RX 8000 is set to be a beast with this. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like AMD may be readying a release of a new XT variant of their RX 7600. The story originally comes from a product page on AMD's official website in Germany, and as you can see, it mentions the 7600 XT. With that said, it's a part of the 7600 non-XT page, so it may be a typo of some kind, but it definitely seems odd that the typo is exactly XT, which will be the GPU we'd expect after the 7600. Plus, as of the writing of this video, it still hasn't been taken down, and Video Cards actually makes a really good point. Given the 7600 utilizes the full Navi 33 GPU, the most likely upgrade for a 7600 XT model would be to add more VRAM. This makes a ton of sense given Nvidia is planning to release a 16 GB 4060 Ti this month. Of course, it's just speculation at this point, but given it's mentioned on AMD's official site, it very well could be a minor upgrade similar to NVIDIA's 16GB 4060 Ti. Then again, the 7600 isn't nearly as powerful as that card, so it wouldn't be the best competition for it. I guess time, as always, will tell. Next up, it looks like NVIDIA's big GPU upgrade is already here. But before I get to that, I've got to tell you one of my favorite ways to learn more about computers. And that's by actually doing it with computer science courses from today's sponsor. Brilliant, the online learning platform that teaches you with more than just memorizing whatever they say and saying it back. That's just boring, and you don't actually learn. With Brilliant, you get in there and do it yourself, like this lesson that helps you learn to think and code by using specific steps to get a car to its destination. It's so intuitive that pretty much anyone can learn some really complex subjects. And with tons of courses from computer science to critical thinking, math, and science, there's definitely something interesting for everyone. And now's the best time to sign up, because when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you can try it out for 30 days free. Plus, when you sign up using Brilliant.org slash GamerMeld, you'll get 20% off the annual premium. Once again, that's Brilliant.org slash GamerMeld. Now back to the story, if you saw my last video, you know that NVIDIA and PCI SIG had been working to make a new version of the PCI Express 5.0's 16-pin power connector. It's called the 12V 2x6 power connector, and with it, they did things like change the power rating, add new power classes, allow it to accept the current imbalance from bending the cable, and more. The biggest change they made seems to be in the receiving socket itself. Here, they shortened the four sense pins in the socket, so it would shut off if the connector wasn't in insert it all the way. The only issue is that it would mean, to get this benefit, you would need a new GPU. Well, it looks like Nvidia has already implemented the new power connector in one of their GPUs, namely the RTX 4070. As you can see in this image from Igor's lab, the RTX 4070 Founders Edition has shorter sense pins than the 4080. And you can see this same design change with this MSI 4070 Gaming X Trio when compared to the MSI 4080. Now, one thing that's odd is that it's still given the H plus label, which is for the original 16 pin connector. H plus plus is that new 12V 2x6 connector. Basically, Nvidia and board partners likely made this change before they completely ironed out all the details of their new connector. But regardless, one of the main changes is clearly in their 4070. Not only that, but apparently some newly announced MSI power supplies are also using these new headers. So if you own an RTX 4070 with a 16 pin connector, you likely are already have an updated socket. And don't forget that when the new cables come out, they are compatible with the older connectors as well. Though you obviously won't get the benefit of the shorter pins without a 4070, at least for now. Next up, it looks like AMD is releasing a new series of desktop CPUs. And according to this rumor, it's coming this week. Also, if you're interested, I will have affiliate links down in the description below for when it's released. Either way, the story originally comes from this leaker on Twitter, where you can see that he shared a screenshot of specs for a Ryzen 5 7500F. Not only that, but we already have images of the chip. And if the name sounds familiar, you are correct, as Intel has their F series of CPUs, which in their case means the integrated GPU has been disabled. Of course, that makes sense for gamers, given most of us use a discrete card. So 
the integrated GPU simply isn't needed. And while Ryzen traditionally came like this other than APUs, Ryzen 7000 introduced their own integrated GPU. And taking a page from Intel, AMD 7500F looks to have a disabled iGPU. When it comes to specs, the 7500F is apparently a 6-core 12-thread CPU that's rumored to have a 5 gigahertz boost clock, which is 100 megahertz less than the 7600. Not only that, but according to a claim from video cards by a Korean retailer, the CPU is expected to launch this week. With that said, the post they link has since been taken down, so it may not happen that early or they just had to take it down, but it definitely looks to be coming soon, and hopefully more CPUs will follow. According to video cards, it's expected to be something like $10 cheaper than the 7600, so not a big difference, but I guess every little bit matters. My only issue would be if the boost clock is actually lower than the 7600. Still, it'll be cool to see if AMD ends up releasing a full lineup of F models similar to what Intel does. And lastly for today, it looks like AMD's RX 8000 GPUs could finally be getting a real upgrade to ray tracing, and this may mean that it could actually catch up to NVIDIA. Currently, RDNA 3, which is what their RX 7000 GPUs are based on, does include a dedicated ray accelerator. AMD originally added this with RDNA 2, but made some key changes in RDNA 3. With that said, one of the main differences that remains between NVIDIA and AMD's ray tracing hardware is that NVIDIA uses dedicated ray ray tracing cores that essentially do just that. While AMD's Ray Accelerator is a part of their compute unit and seems to handle other operations. Well, in a new patent that was only just published a few days ago and shared in a new video from Red Gaming Tech, it looks like AMD is working on a new processing unit that includes a hardware traversal engine, which is one of the main processes that happens when calculating rays. As the patent states, quote, by employing a hardware traversal engine, the processing unit is able to execute the traversal process process more quickly and efficiently, conserving processing resources and improving overall processing efficiency. And as you can see, the processing unit has its own scheduler, cache, and even an intersection engine. So this is very much looking like a big upgrade over what AMD currently has. With that said, AMD isn't all that forthcoming with the structures of their Ray Accelerator, so it's really tough to see how different it is. Of course, given the timing of this, it very much looks to be something AMD's working to include with RDNA 4 or their RX 8000 and GPUs. And that's what Red Gaming Tech seems to be thinking as well. We'll have to see just how big of a difference this brings, but this could finally be AMD's push with ray tracing. So while that does it for today, do you think AMD will ever catch up to NVIDIA in ray tracing? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermeld. And as always, have a great day!